Seems to be, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he's, he likes counting his tries more than anything else. He keeps making you 11 from 10, and now it's, what is it, uh, is it 14, from, 14 from 12. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, he, he knows exactly how many it is. And he's, he's, enjoying, he's enjoying playing at the moment. He's enjoying what he's doing. I think the platform has laid around him as well. I think my, um, my nasty man of Goa for me was, was the best player on the field. I know Kev orchestrates it, pulls the strings, and Scores three tries, but uh, the tough stuff, and they say, and you sometimes you just got to log somewhere else, and you? <laughs> even though like I say you could stand and talk about Kevin all day and what he's done to this club since he's been here and how well he's played, and is he an international player? Is he not an international player? Because uh, he knows what he's thought of at the club, and he knows where he sits with us. He's been, he's done nothing but live up to the side of his bargain since he came to the place. I mean, he's just made it. He's done what he, I asked him to do from day one, and it's been outstanding. But I, Aaron Jeremiah against it, Lloyd White, my nasty man of Fakoa, like I say, okay, McGrath Lula White, and I thought Matt Whitley as well. An 18 year old kid out there <laughs> looking like he's a veteran. So it's, yeah, it was, it's nice to say we're short on bodies as well, but it's, it's good that the exposure that the lads are getting and how well they're playing at the moment. This run of games. Two out of the four that you're targeting, that's two wins, isn't it? You want another two now? Yeah, we do. Again, we're competing against sides that are around us at the moment, and that that becomes it becomes really important. Like I say, you need to take points off those sides that are fighting for that seven, eight spot, and, you, and that's where we run into the next couple of weeks. We've got Hull and Hull KR, we've got a short turnaround this week, as have Hull. So, but it's, it's a game that we know that we've got to be ready for come Thursday night. Kev, all right, went off. Yeah, it, uh, well, shots, it? again, it was one of those, both Joe Mellon and Kev. And then I, I want them to play at the line, they need to play at the line, but there was two or three times when the ball had gone, they got hit in the back with their elbow, people with elbows, and it looked like shoulder charges. It's, it was a bit, a bit naughty, really. It was physical enough, and you, the game was physical, but I think those kind of things, especially late on in the game, it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't needed, it wasn't called for a couple of times, it was just frustration. And, been over emotional from some of the Salford lads. I thought it was a bit, a bit tasteless, really. If Daryl Griffin's red card had been a witness player, what would you have thought? It's a red card, yeah. Red card. If that's the rules, isn't it? He's, he's had no intention. It's not like he slipped up. He's not like he slipped up off the shoulder. He made contact with the head with a swinging arm, and yeah. you've got to feel for the Griffin boys today. It's an emotional day for him, and it's it's, it's an emotional game played by lads that are very very emotional. 
the minute silence at the start would have been tough to take. I know myself, it would have been hard to take. I think, uh, and we saw both two lads, two Griffin boys, been one in the bin and one sent off. It's, they might argue differently, but when you're playing a physical contact sport, emotion plays a big part in that. And when you've got as much emotion and stuff running through their bodies, which is very, it's a very sad time for them. Everybody feels for them. It's a tough thing to have to do to come play in a game that's so physical. But if you, if it was one of our lads, then I wouldn't have any disagreement with it being a, a red card. Yeah, you see, midweek, you, quite rightly, you talked about how you know a lot of players missing and, and, and rightly so. Yet it didn't look that way on the on the pitch. And, you know, a credit to more depth now, I think. This I think it's just credit to the players and how hard they work. Like I said, they don't look out of place. I mean, you still think we've got Eamon O'Carroll, Danny Tickle, Hep Cahill, Paddy Flynn sat on um, sat on the sidelines waiting to come back in the side. It's um, it's credit to those lads that are in there working hard. Like I say, Matt Whitley is, has been outstanding. He's made it my job really tough, which is what I want from a young kid. It's going to be really hard. I think we're in the positive as well at the moment. I think that's something we've strived for over three years to get ourselves in that on that positive side, points difference and. Sides that finish high in the table, usually in the top eight or maybe in the top six, usually have positive, um, positive points, and that's something that we've, we've really, really worked hard to get. And it's a, it's a great credit today that we've thought we tried, we tried to get it last week, but just couldn't put the right game together. But today we, um, like I say, we've got a good bit of points difference. It puts us in the positives. Any more questions, Dennis? We're used to seeing black and white stripes in the Gallagher end. Your supporters. Took I thought, uh, well, that, we've not touched on that. I thought. We were the best supporters last Magic um, at the Etihad. I think it was commented on how, how vociferous they were and how fantastic and how they stayed and they made the weekend something really special. I think what we've seen today in the first game is that like they've done the same again. They've turned up, they've embraced the shirt, they've embraced the, the concept of where it is and, and wanted to buy into that. I think the people in Newcastle have done the same and it's been, I say, it was it was fantastic for our for all our players to be involved in that and the, the atmosphere in such a. An outstanding stadium. Park as a stadium, has it lived up to what you? Oh, it's been, yeah, it's amazing. It's an amazing place. Apart from only having one toilet, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> one toilet and 28 blogs. <laughs> it's a tough one to take. Guess you'd have to go in 28. It's gonna eat you and it's gonna eat me too